Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. The title of this video is how to be okay with where you're at, how to be happy with where you're at, whilst honouring your desire. It's easy to feel stuck and confused about this issue because it seems like a paradox. You have to love what's here, but you also want more. Which is perfectly okay and right. Yeah. Part of you says I need to be okay with where I am and be happy with what I've currently got. But I also need to be okay with my desire for harmonious union. So what's the solution? We choose our desire. Our power is in our choice. Realise this desire isn't here yet. And in doing so, it's ours. There is nothing to do but choose. And in the choosing, we allow, allow ourselves to move towards it. We don't need to be dissatisfied with where we are. But uh, 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 bear in mind that in that dis dissatisfaction, we're actually being honest. This is not okay. This is not what I want. I do not accept this as the end result. Feeling the desire and knowing we can have it are two different things. You can feel the desire... But if you don't believe you can have it, the desire itself becomes painful. When you feel the desire for harmonious union, what comes up? Well, a, lo a load of um, reasons why you can't have it, maybe? <laughs> I'll tell you what that is. That is ego bollocks. A list of bullshit excuses for why you can't have it. And none of them are true, so please surrender those excuses. Choose to trust the divine. The divine is bringing you your desires. The divine knows exactly how to do that. So how can you trust Mother, Father, God more? By choosing to trust her and allowing it to happen. Release resistance to trusting. Surrender feels peaceful because you're not having to do the work in your own consciousness. Give up the grasping. Just choose it. How does that feel? Peace is where harmonious union is. Great love and passion is present within peace. The heart connection is harmonious union. Once again, we're back to the internal connection and communication. Harmonious union is completely peaceful. There are many foundations uh, for, the, for your harmonious union. Doing your life purpose or your mission allows your union to be solid in that area. So the same with finances, home life, sexuality, harmonious union is knowing you're one at the core. And peace means you're moving into the vibe of harmonious union. And that's what we want. That's the feeling we want. Peace. If there's any areas of inner connection that feel off, stop, uh, stop, what, stop what you're doing, mirror it and heal it. But don't don't worry. Don't beat yourself up if if if, it's, if things I if you're not feeling perfect, because one day the love is flowing, the next it's not. It's ju it just means you've gone deeper. The previous level of love has been attained, and you've and you've hit a new layer. You've just got more love. So work through the negativity that that brings up to uproot it, and expunge it from your consciousness so you can go deeper into love deeper into peace the more you love the more that binds your twin flame to their current situation whatever that is dissolves it may look like they've got more involved in the situation but they're following the love that you're pouring in which will eventually reveal itself that you're their person and no one else that's a little bit of patience for that. We don't know how long it will take. We don't know when it's going to be. So we just keep doing the work. And, and the, whole, the whole thing comes about by loving unconditionally. The more anti-love we are, the more resentful we are, the more we lock them into that situation. The more we love unconditionally, the less appealing it is to them. They're not outside of you. They're one with you. They are you. So please don't forget that. So on that note, um, 
I think we can um, round off this video. Um, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.